I'm going to look now at a, a two-way chi-square test and this is to see whether two variables are independent of each other. I'm going to uh, look at pool and region to see whether the chances of having a pool are different depending on what region you're from. So if I go to start tables, now I'm interested in a cross tabulation of pool by region and a chi-square test. So whether you put the pool in the rows or the region in the rows is up to you. you. You'll get the same numbers out, it's just which is easier to look at even when you're reading off the data. I would like it to display the counts and if I go to chi-square, I'd like the chi-square analysis, the expected cell counts and each cell's um, contribution to the chi-square statistic. We could look at the residuals as well but for the moment let's just look at the counts. Okay. Now here if I look at the table you'll see that each cell instead of just having one number has got three numbers. Now the top number is the observed value, the second number is the expected value and the third number is the contribution to the test statistic which is the observed minus the expected squared over the expected and you don't have to calculate this by hand that's just for your information. So in region 1 we had 59 houses without a pool if there was no relationship between whether or not you have a pool and which region you live in then we would have expected 57.24 um, houses not to have pools so that's pretty close and we can see that the contribution here that to the test statistic is pretty low. Now if we scoot down for a second to the bottom here is where the test is given now we've got the Pearson chi-square test and the likelihood ratio chi-square test I would like you just to use this top one um, there are some cases where you might want the likelihood ratio chi-squared if you've got low cell counts but for the moment we're going to stick with Pearson and you need to watch to see if Minitab warns you that you don't have enough data it will tell you that the cell counts are too low. Now the null hypothesis is that these two variables are independent of each other so whether or not you have a pool has no relationship to what region your house is in. The p-value here is quite low 0.012. So there's a 1.2% chance of getting this data if this hypothesis was true. So that would lead us to believe that the hypothesis maybe is not true and that some regions are in fact more likely to have a pool than others. Now the test doesn't tell us what the relationship is between pool and region. It just tells us it's unlikely that there is no relationship between pool and region. So if we want to make some inference about this, we would have to look through and compare the observed and expected values to see which ones are not what we would expect. Now if we look here first, in region 3, I can see that only three pools had, three houses had a pool, but we would have expected 10.14. So that's a big difference. There's also a big difference between what we observed and expected in region 4, um, whereas regions 1 and 2 don't seem to be doing anything too far away from what we expect. So if you have some knowledge about where the data has come from, if you have some knowledge about the regions, um, any background knowledge about the building of houses, then you would be able to probably draw some conclusions from this data.